Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Heaven's Tutorial. Today we are going to start with the next chapter which is electricity. And in this chapter, the exercise, second exercise, exercise B has been removed. It has been deducted where we are, we are not going to read that. So let's start with our guessing anytime. First term is direct current. So basically direct current is a current of constant magnitude flowing in one direction. So basically in direct current, there is a constant magnitude means magnitude refers to the quantity so the in the current there is same magnitude same quantity of current flowing in just a one direction that kind of current such current is called as direct current and this is important that in a cell chemical energy changes into electrical energy when it sends current in a circuit so always remember this chemical energy changes into electrical energy so cell there are two kinds of cell primary cell and secondary or the accumulators so questions related to these two kinds of cells can come like differentiate between primary cell and secondary cell so you have to differentiate them so learn this table chemical reaction in primary cell is irreversible whereas in secondary cell the reaction is reversible the commonly used cells they are uh, basically primary cells like in tv remote jo choti wali wo sasti wali jo cell aati hai wo primary cell hoti hai thus primary cell they are light and cheap whereas the secondary cell they are heavy and costly one more difference that uh, tv remote uh, type kind of cells they can't be recharged you have to replace it with other cell whereas for secondary cell it can be recharged like the cells in motor cars they can be recharged so those cells are secondary cells examples are very important primary cell the example is simple voltaic cell daniel cell dry cell remember dry cell as the duracell ultra so learn this table now the main topic starts from here which is in class 10th also first term is current so let's see what is an electric current it's a very simple concept really really simple concept so basically there's an an atom in which electrons are revolving in its uh, orbit or shells so what happened that ki nucleus jo hai electrons ko push out kar deta hai hata deta hai orbit se बाहर कर देता है इलेक्ट्रॉन्स को इलेक्ट्रॉन्स बाहर आते ही घूमने नाचने ही नहीं लगते बहुत छोटी समय की फ्रीडम होती है और फिर वो दूसरे इलेक्ट्रॉन्स के दूसरे एटम के इलेक्ट्रॉन्स शेल्स में लग जाते हैं अब यही सब रिपीट होता रहता है बार बार रिपीट होता है एक से एक एक से दो दो से तीन चार से पाँच ये जो फ्लो ऑफ कह सकते हैं चार्जेस होते हैं ना उसी को इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट कहते हैं चार्जेस फ्लो हो रही हैं एक से एक 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 एज यू कैन सी ए तो इसी चीज को द फ्लो ऑफ चार्ज दैट इज कॉल्ड एज करेंट इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट और फिजिक्स वाले भैया तो आराम से सिंपल ही नहीं बता सकते तो थोड़ी डिफिकल्टी इनकी डेफिनेशन होगी जो आपको याद करना ही पड़ेगा so current that is a rate of flow of charge across a cross section area normal to the direction of flow of current that this is the definition of current which is very important and the formula to calculate current is charge upon time and always and remember this current is a scalar quantity ki questions aa sakte hain like state whether it is a scalar quantity or vector quantity state why सो ऐसे क्वेश्चन आ सकते हैं इससे रिलेटेड एंड वन मोर थिंग कि एक दूसरा फॉर्मूला भी होता है करंट इज इक्वल टू द नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स अपॉन टाइम चार्ज को हम लोग नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स भी कह सकते हैं ओके फुली यू यू अंडरस्टूड दिस आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग यू द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स सो यूनिट ऑफ करेंट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्योंकि अगर आपने इनोमरिकल्स में इसकी यूनिट गलत लिख दी तो मार्क्स कट जाएंगे सो द यूनिट इज बेसिकली दिस ऐसा यूनिट ऑफ चार्ज इज कूलम एंड दिस यूनिट ऑफ टाइम इज सेकेंड सो 
Hence, the psi unit of current is coulomb per second, which is also called as ampere, Don't denoted by symbol capital A. Okay, the psi unit is coulomb per second or ampere. Also, remember the other units and their value. They are also very important. Next thing is symbols used in circuit diagrams. Circuit diagrams banane ko aasakte hain questions mein. So, usme aapko diagram banana aana hona chahiye. So, just remember the diagrams. Nothing else is there. And there is two sources of current, two types of current there are. First is alternating current in which magnitude and direction changes with time. Whereas for the DC, the direct current, the magnitude remains same and it flows in one direction. So, differentiate between can also come. Like differentiate between alternating current and uh, di direct current. Key is used to put current on and off in a circuit. Again, remember the symbols, the diagram. Third one is resistant wire and resistant box rheostat or variable resistant. Basically, resistant uh, refers to the the uh, obstruction offered to the current. Jo obstructions aate hain, jo bhi difficulties aate hain. In simple language. To reduce the excessive amount of current to flow. And a rheostat is a device which adjusts the magnitude of current by changing the length of resistive wire. Because resistive wire, because resistance depends upon the length and the thickness of the wire. Next is devices and don't get confused. There are three devices. Ammeter, which is used to measure the magnitude of the current flow in a circuit. Magnitude kitna hai, usko measure karne ke liye. Voltmeter, potential difference ko measure karne ke liye. Galvanometer, taki ek weak current ko ya uh, aise kaise sakte hai ki kis flow, kis direction mein current flow ho raha hai, usko pehchanne ke liye galvanometer use kiya jata hai. In tino devices mein confuse mat huye ga unke functions ko lekar. Next is load. Load appliance jo connected hai. Heater ho sakta hai, bulb ho sakta hai, ya dousri cheeze substances bhi ho sakte hai. Next is insulators and conductors. Insulators, insulators which do not allow conduct current to flow through it. Like for example wood, paper, glass. Current na lagne ke liye hamisha zaadha tar ye gharo mein kaha jata hai ki plastic wali chappal pen lo ya wood wali chappal pen lo. Nahin. <laughs> कोई डंडा पकड़ लो हां तो ये उनको इंसुलेटर्स कहा जाता है क्योंकि उससे करंट फ्लो होता नहीं है कंडक्टर्स जिससे करंट फ्लो होते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल कॉपर हो गया सिल्वर हो गया एंड वन मोर थिंग दिस इज अ फैक्ट दैट सिल्वर इज द बेस्ट कंडक्टर ऑफ हीट एंड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बट बिकॉज़ ऑफ इट इज एक्सपेंसिव कॉपर इज यूज्ड एल्युमिनियम यूज किया जाता है स्टील यूज किया जाता है आयरन यूज किया जाता है सो दीस एंड द डिफरेंशिएट बिटवीन इंसुलेटर्स एंड कंडक्टर्स कैन कम एंड एग्जांपल्स ऑलवेज रिमेंबर द एग्जांपल्स एग्जांपल्स याद रहेंगे तो आप खुद ही अपनी डेफिनेशन बना के लिख सकते हो नेक्स्ट इज क्लोज्ड एंड ओपन सर्किट्स क्लोज्ड सर्किट्स इन व्हिच सर्किट्स डू नॉट फ्लो and open circuit in which circuit in which current flows bus and next ex exercise b has been deducted from your syllabus so we are going not going to uh, study that numericals are coming by the way and uh, the exercise 3 c is coming efficient use of energy or in simple language conservation of energy jo bhi electricity usko kam use kara jaye ये सारी चीजें इसमें बताई गई हैं जस्ट रीड इट वंस एंड नाउ द चैप्टर इज फिनिश्ड नथिंग एल्स इज देयर जस्ट रिमेंबर द टर्म्स द एग्जांपल्स डिफरेंशिएट बिटवीन एंड द डायग्राम्स एज़ वेल एंड डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज्ड बिटवीन दोस थिंग्स एंड वन मोर थिंक दैट सेल इज कंसिस्ट सेल कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू इलेक्ट्रोड्स एंड एन इलेक्ट्रोलाइट अबाउट द इलेक्ट्रोड्स एंड इलेक्ट्रोलाइट यू विल Learn, you will study about them in detail in chemistry in class 10th. For now, just understand them as electrodes. They are two rods and an electrolyte in a vessel that is a, a liquid substance. 
जिसमें हो सकता है लेड ब्रोमाइड हो सकता है दूसरे केमिकल्स सब्सटेंसेस हो सकते हैं एसिडिफाइड वाटर हो सकता है तो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज इलेक्ट्रोलाइट सो नेम द कॉन्स्टिट्यूंट ऑफ अ सेल यू विल राइट टू इलेक्ट्रोड्स एंड एन इलेक्ट्रोलाइट इन अ सेल होपफुली अंडरस्टूड इट नाइसली एंड इफ यू डेट लकीली Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Heaven's Tutorial. Next video, magnetism is coming right up, so stay tuned. Thank you.